Shameless plug. In a world where everyone is on a 50 degree angle, England is infested with horrific creatures. Only one final village holds out against the poor. You must talk to the power of the moon. Only you can rid the land of this darkness. Okay, that's good. Okay. Angles free demo on Steam available now. Right, today, today we are playing Elite Dangerous. It's the first time I've played it since having VR and selling VR. I played it in VR only for like two years. There's plenty of videos of that on my channel. But now it's time to play it in full HD. Because as we know, it's only 720p when you play VR. Well, if you add the left eye and the right eye together anyway, I mean, technically it's, <laughs> it's actually 480p, but you know, it's getting there, right? Yeah. So, here it is. I'm in the toasty soup can. The toasty soup can is my hauler. It's a heavily engineered hauler. I haven't played this game for a long time. And it's very possible that the toasty soup can might not be toasty anymore. But <clears> it's it's an over-engineered jump ship. So it's got like a 50 light year max range if you jump with only half a tank of fuel. <laughs> 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 and it catches fire a lot because of the over-engineered range. But it's fun. I enjoy it. So we're going to be flying out today and um, we're going to sell my T9, which is worth about 100 mil. And then we're going to buy a Chieftain and we're going to see what that's like. Um, I have to rebind my up key because my up key on my joystick is broken. But uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. Wow, I got invited by Sanji. So please excuse me going in the bindings real quick. Quit stream. Ah, oh, you're not watching this guy. Right, so uh, flight thrust, I think, and it's going to be lateral cool. thrust is up and down is joy five and six. So I need to change that to these two, and it's going to re. I'm going to have to find new ways. Yeah, see, and that's my normal engine boost. So, okay. And then this one, that wasn't anything. Okay, so all I need to do is rebind boost. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Where would that be? Where's boost at? Is it in flight throttle? No. Miscellaneous. There we go. Engine boost is tab. So now I need to find a new button for boost. I bet that's jump, isn't it? Yeah, I've got jump on seven and toggle flight assist on eight. So how about, well, I'm going to have to lose my flight, a flight assist button. Oh no. Oh no. He's losing it. Which is kind of annoying. So then this is boost and that is jump. So what's, so button five is the one that's broken down. What does button six do then? Hmm. Oh, I have to, oh my boy, boy, the experiment. Oh, nice. Flight assist, jump, boost. Well, actually, hang on a minute. I could change this one to boost. Okay, I can no. do that. Change that back to flight assist and put boost here. There we go. So boost, jump, flight assist. I think I can remember that. That's on my thumb. It's going to be weird. I'm going to be hitting the wrong buttons a lot, but it'll be fine. It's got to be done, though, because uh, I'm not buying a new... Uh, joystick anytime soon right so let's just take a quick look at what we've got here shall we won't take long I'll go through it real quick so currently we're in my hauler
Now, Hall is a very small ship, but it's only 118,000 credit on insurance. So if I blow up, it really doesn't matter. Um, only for the travel time. <laughs> however, as you can see, we've got a 48.9 on the max with a 46.24 on um, with full fuel. And obviously, we've got to scoop our fuel as we go along. Um, there's no hard points, I don't think. Yeah, we got nothing. I uh, don't think we've got any utilities either. Just got to save on weight. And for the core internal, we've got the lightweight bulkheads. Engineered power plant, again, for, 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 to favor less mass. Um, the enhanced performance thrusters. Right, I could have made it go further if I didn't have these. But I really wanted to go extremely fast if I got interdicted. Which never happens, but, you know, if it did happen, then <laughs> you, can out, you can outrun them with this engine. Hmm. Well, you used to. The game may have changed in the amount of time that it's taken me to come back to. So maybe now there are ships out there. Because I know it was only like one or two <laughs> ships could keep up with it. Um, especially if they actually, you know, were able to shoot at you. Huh? Um, we got the 2A frame shift again, engineered for range. I think it's a class 4 mod, not a class 5 though. Um... Uh, 1D, D, D, and then the small, you know, only the small fuel tank. Again, for range. Under the optionals, we've got a 3A fuel scoop, two, two AFMs, one to fix the other and one to fix the, the ship. And then a docking computer because I'm lazy. And a planetary approach suite, obviously. And that's it. That's the ship, guys. Um... It has a boost speed of 500 meters per second. Like I say, it's pretty quick. Nice. I mean, I don't know. Are there any ships that go faster than that now? How much? 507 meters per second. Mm, I've got to look it up. Because you can keep the boost going as well. It's not like a boost and then you've got to wait ages. You go, boost! boost well it used to get you used to i don't know if obviously the game may have been rebalanced a lot in the times no we if you put all on system or engine pep it could be good fast boot speed 400 viper well that's bullshit because i got 507 here oh uh, that must be base and then if you put the special engines yes. if you engineer it it's it's more right 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 well, let's see, Viper, let's clear this, and uh, how do I even, let's go with for Racer. Now, where have I got to go? I've got to go to, I, I, I took a <laughs> screenshot of the place, I've got to go to Brestler to get my new ship, so let's type that in. Oh yeah, Brestler. Viper with 3A enhanced performance engines on base. Is easy. What's your um, clean, dirty, or reinforced? I don't know. What's Probably, I don't know. Actually, I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been too long, mate. Let's say dirty. Huh? Is that Brastler? Yeah, seven sixty-eight for a Viper Wait. boost, mate. That doesn't it look can, like it can chase you in normal speed. <laughs> <laughs> 614 on normal with what? an enhanced performance drive. Oh yeah, you could put that on. What the hell? That Fastest way. route, max 20k light years. That's not much. And then economical route, max 1000. What? I don't know. It's... Oh yeah, 20,000 light years you can go. Well... Now... Well, and, uh, Brestler's only fine. a couple. Brestler is only one, two jumps, but it's not showing me the last link, and I'm a little bit confused about that. Yeah, that can. That's not how it used to do happen. it. Sometimes it does. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? I just clicked on Bre Look, I don't know what it was linking me to before, but I clicked on it, and it's two jumps to Brestler. <laughs> Which is 75 yeah. light years away. <laughs> uh, maybe you cleared the filters. Maybe. Because, you know, star system filters. Are yeah. Alright, let's check so, this out, shall we? Let's go to the galaxy map. 
<laughs> See that new check? Yeah, it looks like I should work. All right then, guys. Let's see how hard I fail at this. Launching. My destination is set. Oh yeah, how how bad is my jump range? Right. <clears throat> Actually, got better. Obviously, I've got no shield, so I really don't want to hit that on the way out the door. It's been a while. God, that's weird going up with that key. Now, which <laughs> button was uh, landing gear? Landing gear retracted. Whoa! Didn't quite roll enough, but I'm fine. I got out. Okay, now boost. Yes! Feel the power of the toasty soup can. And we'll get to scoop once, so we'll see why it's called the toasty soup can too. Yo, so you only scoop once. You only scoop once. <laughs> or you only soup once. Jumping to hit two seven eight five five. Boom reported. <laughs> Class G, white yellow star. So we got an efficient, a lightweight, no, a short range and a long range multi cannon. <laughs> My other ride is a Viper. Should get that as a bumper sticker op option. Right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, my other ride is a white. Right. How do and I get... There we go, I've got the lines, I've got the lines. Here we go, guys, we're scooping. Right then, we're scooping, we've got to stay outside that yellow line. Look, watch the heat. Look, fuel scoop is complete. Warning, temperature critical. Warning, toasty soup can is toasty. Warning. 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 And we're jumping. No, we're not jumping. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Meanwhile, I'll wait. I'll wait. In my fight. All right, there we go. Charging. We're jumping. Maximum. Jumping to Brestler. <laughs> Class M Red Dwarf. And then we got to work out which station we actually got to go to because I didn't really pay much attention to that. Let's just tab out quick. It's ice, ice solar prospect is where I need to go to. Oh man, the game doesn't freeze when you alt tab. I like that. Yeah. That's useful. Because it's an exploit. Whoa. Okay, we are in Brestler, so we need to find ice solar. I solar prospect. Oh what? Dude, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's not a station. It's a planet. I gotta land on a. I'm on fire. No, I'm not. It's okay. I'm okay. Well, all engineers are on planets, right? I don't know. I don't know. I've never been to Brestler. Well, they are. Oh, okay. Because it's Horizons content. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> what the uh, what the chieftain is in Horizons only? No, 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 no. Although, yes, it is. It is. No that way. Is. You, yeah, because you can only get it from uh, Jameson or planet-based places. I'm not going the right way either. <laughs> I'm, I'm heading towards the hollow pit. Oh, mate, I was going completely the opposite direction. You can tell I haven't played this for a while. Right, slow down, slow down. Holy shit, I'm right by it. Holy shit. Okay, right, we're going to have to be clever about this. Right, here we go. Here we go. Probably too close. No, 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 we're good, we're good. I'm 300 light years from home. Right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's try not to destroy the toasted soup can. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's toasted. And it's a soup can because it's basically just a hole with a big engine and a, ch and a chair <laughs> at the front. Oh, yay. Let's put an engineer 12,000 light seconds from the start. Nice. This one's right next to it, dude. It was like I right know, by the star. She invited me, I should go. Right. But I ain't gonna level this shit out. <laughs> the graphics are a lot sharper when you're not playing in VR. <laughs> when you're not in VR? Yeah. Let's slow our rolls, Ooh, ladies and gents. So we gotta land on the dark side of this planet. So let's just sort of 
try to skip like a stone here. Yay! Map is scaling on the planet and you can see the surface! Oh, here we go! Have you checked it yet? System map with a planet view? Hang on, hang on. I need to get just above it. Just to get just above it. Well, everything's going well so far. I haven't done this for a while, so I'm trying not to screw it up. Right. I think I'm going to screw it up, though. You can't do that. <laughs> well, it's, uh, is it better than STO? Oh, here it is. <laughs> is it better than STO? That's a bit unfair to compare it, mate. Aspect triggered. <laughs> it's a bit of a different game, isn't it? <laughs> okay, glide engaged. Let's see if I can make it to the station. But That's there the big are no stupid ground missions. <laughs> there are ground missions, but you're in a really cool moon buggy, so it, I forgive them. Dude, I like the space combat in Star Trek. It's pretty fun. It's more of an arcade game. Yeah, this is more of a sim. You know, you don't actually have to fly the shuttle yeah. down to a planet. Like, that would make it amazing! Imagine a Star Trek game what? where you actually had to fly your shuttle down to the planet, dude. Come on. I would love it! That would be amazing! But it's like George Lucas said. The technology didn't exist at the time. <laughs> and you would be bored out of your mind. We're gonna have to make bridge... We need to make bridge command a special edition. Right, hang on, I need to ask for permission to dock. You can hide the loading screen in the shuttle scene. Right, solar docking. And then I stop the ship and autopilot takes over and I just lean back like a lazy bastard. So, the shuttle flies as fast as your computer can load the next scene or level. Hmm. That isn't bad. Of course, with a minimum time. Like, like in... Uh, What's that strategy game? XCOM. Remember that? Mm. The new XCOMs? You're in the little helicopter while loading. Somebody could do that with Star Trek too. Ah, oh, landing is so hard in this game. What's the G? Uh, what's the G? Uh, 0.07. It's just a moon. <laughs> That's no moon. That's right. a Roy. Starport <laughs> services, ladies and gents. So, we are here to buy this new ship. So, what I'm going to do is, I used to have a T9. Where is he? We break for nobody. And I used to use this thing. <laughs> yeah, I used to use this guy to deliver the faction stuff and get points so that I'd get to pay every week. But it's only 5 million credits even when you max it out, isn't it? Or is it 50 when you max it out? 50 million. Yeah, and that is worth it, but it's a lot. a lot of work. All you ever do is fly this thing from point to point and it's boring. So, you don't need it anymore. Don't need it anymore. It had so much cargo space, man. Like 600 tons or something ridiculous. And now even more, mate. Really? Yeah, it yeah. got buffed. Hang on, let me see. What does it say? Cargo. It's oh, it's only 384 to. on this, apparently. Or is that 384? No, oh, yeah, it's only 384. Mind you, if you look, I've got a planetary vehicle hanger in here, which you don't need. you got a shield generator, which you could... Ex <laughs> oh, yeah, you could exchange the shield generator for like 128 extra tons there, so... Anyway, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I kept the shield generator because you're often getting attacked and it's quite slow. You can always get away, but, you know, not without yeah. shields. <laughs> right. So we're going to sell this and get ourselves a cool 100 mil. No way. A low energy FSD vague. What is Interpol? Question mark. <laughs> what is Shall Interpol? Shall I jump in it? <laughs> no, don't, don't, because it's, it's a trap. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not an FSD rake, it's just... Okay, a, so now let's see if we can find this Lol. thing. Oh, really? Anyway... Mate, I bet they don't even have it here, and I've just come here for no reason. They've got 33 ships in stock here, dude. I've never yeah, seen a station with so many ships. Thing. Imperial Kurra, Kur Kuria, Keelback, Scout, yeah, Vulture. Vulture's one. a lot of and fun. And buy them all, and you can transfer. Yeah, Vulture's a lot of fun. 
Explorer's good. I don't have the Federation ranks. Type Hashtag 7. Nobody I... cares because they're going to open it. Right. There it is. The Alliance <laughs> Chieftain. Holy shit. Right. Let's just check on the chat because I don't mean to ignore people. I don't know. Is anybody oh, yeah, there? Sorry, I haven't. No, nope, nobody's there. That's okay. I'm just trying to keep an eye on it. I'm going to get a second screen soon so then I won't be able to be easier. Right. Top speed is down. Range is down. Mind you, 10 light years, that's about the same as a T6. So you could probably get this going. You could probably get a decent jump range out of this thing. Maybe. Holy crap. Maybe not. Well, maybe, maybe not. Exactly. Like, what's the size of the frame shift? You could put a size 6 on it. Maybe. No, 5. Size 5. Can't remember what size the. Uh, let's go back. The type. Not the keel back. T6. Oh no, T6 has 13. And a size 4 frame shift though. So that's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I can't wait to find out about that. What else have they got? Is that the only new ship? Yes. Oh. Uh, bloody hell, you can even buy a cutter here. What? <laughs> Wait, what's that? A Type 10 Defender? That's the new one. What, this is the new one? Yeah, what, what are you thinking? I thought it's the other one... Ship, I thought the other one was the new one. Which one? The Alliance... Oh yeah, there's two the new The Alliance ships, Chieftain. Sorry, right, so there are two new ships, yeah? Yes. All right, cool. So I'm not going to well, get the. I'm not going to get this one because, well, I could get Titan it. Defender is I, a big. I could get it. I could get it, but to be perfectly honest, it's a bit excessive because I play alone most of the time, and like I'd have to sell. A, I'd probably have to sell like. I'd probably have to sell either my Python or my Condor if I wanted to do that. And to be honest, my Condor's too useful as an exploration ship, and my Python is just too much fun. Yeah. This thing's like my Porsche 911. It just sits there, and I use it when I don't care if it dies, because it's just fun. I mean, it's got two Imperial rail cannons, and it overheats every time I fire it. It's just funny. It's a joke, really. Anyway, so and I'm going to keep this, because I earned my money with my Dolphin, really, or used to. Don't know if I still will. So screw it. Let's just get the Alliance... What should we call it? Because that's what I came here for. I came here for a chieftain. So I don't know. It looks kind of funky, <laughs> mate. Oh, she wants ten pay night. Ten pay night. Get mine. Not. Go, 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 go. Get mining, bro. <laughs> the former miner she is has a talent for improving hold. Okay, defense. I don't want to sell my hauler either. Thanks. Because it'll only be... <laughs> so let's Why? see. Store current ship and buy the new ship. That's the one I want. And I can't do anything here? Why? Did nope. They hate us? No, you're not allowed. Mate, uh, no commodities, no contacts, no, no cargo graphics here. Hmm. Let's have a look at this beast. Signal lost. Uh, what? There we go. Sight. I was too quick with my quickness. So, uh, G and tab G. Oh god, I'm in a wall. Don't go in the wall. Right. Let's go up a bit. Can we go up a bit? Oh, the up button doesn't work here. Okay, fine. Mm. Probably because I have to rebind the camera controls as well, I bet. Oh, wow, this thing looks super awesome, mate. It looks like some kind of, well, yeah, it's like a dropship or something. It's wicked. Yeah. It's got, looks like the engines deform at the back. Oh, shit, there's shields, engines, and thrusters. If I go into the model or the wall, it goes all blurry, which is a bit lame. Whatever. Okay, let's continue the journey of upgrading stuff. 
There's like an invisible box around the ship to stop me like getting too close to it and stuff. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, that's right. Control alt space. There we I'm go. coming closer to you. I'm going to the cab. Oh nice. If the planner ever decides that I can. Okay, so I guess time to go to outfitting and find out that none of the stuff I need is here. Oh, you'd think it would be though. They've got every ship in stock, so you'd think they'd have everything here. So okay, you no, can. No, that's a luxury, mate. You can buy guns here. <laughs> Right, let's do the core first. Uh, obviously, I'm going to want a 6D. I mean, a 6A, if they've got one. What's that going to cost? Six million. Wow, that's cheap. I thought that would be like 30 mil. Uh, life support can be the D. Right, and then you're into what is this going to be, because I like having big thrusters no matter what. Whoops. Oh boy. 6A, 20 mil. Ooh, ho, ho. This one's going to be expensive. So how much for the 6A power plant? 15 mil. Okay, and then we want a 6A distributor because, you know, we've got a 6A power plant, so don't want to lose out. Lol, so. the, the computer wished me safe travels. And then it's the question of weight versus ability. <laughs> so D gives me a 5 kilometer emission range and 8 kilometer max range for 4 tons. <coughs> and the 4A is 10 tons. Huh? Sensor suite doesn't seem to be like it just it costs me a shitload more power. It's for the mega ship scanning thing. Okay, well I'll just get the A package because I don't know. But well, why would you need it? Hey. You wanna go hint? Uh, hunt mega ships. I've got no idea, mate, what I'm going to do with it. No okay. idea right now. That's the thing about it. I don't know. Uh, you might have played for two years again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't know. That's going to vastly affect my range. So, no, we'll leave it at lightweight alloys for now. I'm not going to go PvPing or anything. So, I don't think I need to worry about that. Not a PvP deal. Um... Mm. So yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now options, mate. Options. What's a military compartment? Good question. Hull it's module. A compartment where you can only put reinforcements. Hull. Oh, okay. Interesting. Didn't know about that. That's all new to like me. Hull or module reinforcements. Right. Well, I don't want a giant cargo rack. <laughs> so hang on. Let's just close that. Let's just sell all this. Just sell all this stuff. Because it's junk anyway. There we go. Right. So at the moment, with no weapons and no options, I've got a 22.5 light year range. And I've got a maximum of 25 megawatts and I'm currently using 12 of them. The boost speed. Five megawatts. Yeah, the boost speed is 383 meters per second, and the total mass is 558 of 2,000. So it's a question of whether I want to, you know, use this for getting about, hopping around, and doing a bit of combat. Because then I'd go with a uh, like a big shield and a little scoop. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe that's, that's probably a that's probably a good idea. I probably want to buy weave because Do I? because they're fun. Let me check it. Can we get a, six, a class six I have a? Six a shield. Six C by weave. Twenty two 
20. And a 5C scoop, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not a small scoop, but... So, hang on, the biweave weighs the same as the, sh as the A class. So there's no difference in weight. Quite a big difference in power draw, though. I do yeah, like because the bi weave is faster to come back. Yeah, I do like the bi weave because sometimes but the a is a little slower to go down. So. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, but the thing is, when the shield goes down, you really need it to come back. So I think I'm going to take really. that. I do. <laughs> I don't use well, loads of boosters, do, okay. so. Hey, you're sitting in a tank. Allegedly, that remains to be seen. <laughs> well, what's your hull? Hull. Uh, yeah, ship integrity. 504. Yeah, what's your shield? Uh, I'm not looking at it right now. Hang on, let me just put this fuel scoop on. Boom, a $10 million fuel scoop. <gasps> oh, feel the power. Okay, um, the shield, optimal hull mass is 540, maximum is 1,350. So, no, 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 down where the hull was. And you go to the shield, you get the shield help. Shield. I don't know what I'm looking at now. I'm looking at the class C shield. Yeah, but on the lower left. Oh, shield strength, two, 226. There you go. You have two shields as a whole tanking. Right. That's so you okay. have twice the time, then your shield collapse time to recharge it. Oh, that's all right, because it should come back online before I blow up. <laughs> like <laughs> I said, though, do, like I said, though, right, it remains to be seen. No, it remains to be tested. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. All for the low, low price of probably a five million rebuy. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 we can duel it out, mate. We can just test the shield. FSD interdictors. Look at all this. What's a decontamination limpet and why do I care? There's all this uh, new stuff. Some Thargoid nonsense. Thargoid stuff. Is that what the recon limpets are for? No, the recon limpets are the mega ship scouts. Mega ship scouts? Yeah. Mate, there's all this cool stuff. What about. Yeah, but you can only play it on 1% of 1% of the galaxy. Yeah, but you, you find out where it is and go there, right? In an anaconda, because it's got a long range, not in this ship, lol. Yeah, so you're not doing it in if this. If you build it, they will come, right? Yeah. Uh, research <laughs> limpets, is that basically all the same meta? Mm hmm Okay. Uh, I don't need a passenger cabin, although that would be funny. Um, what about... Why will you put your prisoners, then? I know, right? <laughs> Into the hold you go. <laughs> Put him in cargo hold three and lock the door. See, now we're getting into what do I want to actually use this for. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. um, I suppose I could sort out the military parts because that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? I want module, I want module reinforcements, don't I? Wait, why is it messing up? What's a stupid thing? It was messing up. You can get all reinforcements too. How much are they? Eight tons for a module reinforcement package, 4D. Yeah, but it sucks up the damage. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Uh, check with how much percentage does it take. Check that. 60% uh, damage protection? Yeah. So does that stack? No. Uh, okay. So then shield cell banks, right? Do I have to push a button to make them actually work? I've never uh, used them. Or are they passive? Use boosters instead of banks. Really? Why? Because and yeah, you have to push a button for shield cell bank too. You have to push a button for the banks. Yeah. Uh, well, screw that then. I can't be but bothered. But the boosters are button free. So hull reinforcement yeah. package. Holy shit! Yeah, I'll take one of them. My God. <laughs> um, don't forget to change your basic hull too. Basic hull? What do you mean basic hull? You know the lightweight alloys. Oh, yeah, I could change the... Uh... Mate, it's 600 on lightweight? Yeah, it is. It's 834, hang on, lightweight. So, like, if I went for military grade... Yeah. That would give me that. 1,300 hit points. 
That's pretty dirty, mate. To be honest, I'm not. I haven't oh, yeah. got. Dirty I haven't got much money for weapon. Watch yeah, but hang on. Shield? Yeah, but hang on. I haven't really got much in the way of. Um, I think I'm going to downgrade that because. I'll but put just put. I'll just put the, the, rein, right? the reinforced. I'll just put the reinforced alloys on because, to be honest. Yeah, what's that? Eight hundred. Yeah, it's still a thousand. Thousand hit points. Yeah, so you got five times your shield strength in hull. Lol. So it's a tank then, yeah, I, I accept that. Alright, um... Well, that's the way I've got it set up. I mean, I, you could probably set it up in a multitude of ways, but it seems to favour that. Um, what else have we got? So... Because the joke is, I could put another hull reinforcement package on it if I wanted. I don't know why I would want to do that, but I could. Um, hang on, where's that military slot? There it is. So... Probably actually just go with another module reinforcement package. Don't know if I can be bothered though. Let's go back. Still need to sort these lots out. Yeah, that's right guys, I'm lazy. I'm taking a standard docking computer. <laughs> it's because oh, yeah. I'm lazy. Um, I'm changing my forgetfulness if you don't mind. Should I get like a small fuel rack? I mean a cargo rack even should probably. A cargo rack is always good. Just in case, pick up something new. you never know. I might pick something up. Uh, and then I've got a fl I've got a four slot and a military four slot. I don't know what to spend it on. Probably should take. Um... <coughs> yeah, we still want that. Amazingly infinite number of viewers. And what zero? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's okay, bud. Like I say, we're, we're new back to this after years of inactivity, so that's not normal. So what should I have then? A ping? Uh, I could put a honker on there? <coughs> that's useful. Yeah. Put an advanced, advanced disco, mate. No idea what I'm going to be using this for. It's probably a dumb thing to put on there, but whatever. Uh, yeah, collecting data is always useful. Okay, I'm running out of money, so I might actually have to sell something else. <laughs> we what? Yeah, yeah, I've spent like a hundred million already on this thing, uh, nearly. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's there for the end game. It is, yeah, That's yeah. Where they put it in. <laughs> right. I hate that. So, what the hell is an experimental shutdown field? A Xeno scanner? What? Yeah, those are Targon killers. Counter Xeno shutdown technology. So this thing could be immune to getting zapped. Um, you have to activate it. Oh, okay. At the proper time. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's a challenge to. Okay, that's something for your uh, Type Ten warship, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's what it's for. Killing them. Because yeah. I don't know what I even want to use this for at the moment. I just, just wanted to see what it was. Paint it pink and call it pony. Let's <laughs> put a chaff on it. Shield boosted, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What for, though? My shields are just going to go pop. Well, because they OP, that's all I know. Oh, okay. Slow down, you brick. Probably want to put a kill warrant. Do kill warrant scanners even matter anymore? Because the last time I checked, they didn't really matter anymore. Um, you do get the off-system bounty with it. But yeah, now but you I don't get bounty on you if you don't know if they are bounted. So but you yeah. actually do need like at least a D or an, a, a, a D type then. Uh, that's just range. The difference is just the range and power. Well, I'll go with a D then, because I'm running out of money fast. <laughs> Coming out on farce here. Question is, like, if I had to, I'd probably sell my Python, because it's my cheapest ship, and... I don't know. I could easily buy it back if I sold this ship, so it's not like a big deal or anything. You don't, you don't, I don't think you do, you do lose a bit for selling in ships and all that, but not much. What is it, like 10 or 20 percent? Or is it 5 percent? Yeah, so it's, it's not much. Yeah. So as long as I actually fly this about for a bit, I could go back to the Python again. So, 
Um, I think all I engineered on it was the jump range. Hmm. Probably. 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 Um, right. No, it's not. Every there. engineering Utilities, planet is on the dark. Utilities, browse. I don't like it. <clears throat> and we'll get another shield booster because apparently they're good now. I'm going to get blown up so fast. It's going to be fun, mate. No, mate. Um, right. Unless we go to a Hazrez. So what can we put on? Ooh, okay, what can we do with this then? Vessel voice. Greetings, Commander. What? what? There's Greetings. new voice packs for the, for the ship. Um, maybe from ACS? Commander. There's Ooh. like a British. There's a guy that. Greetings, Commander. When are you saying There's that like a name? European chick. Where? A British chick. And an English guy. In vessel voice. This is Victor. Where did you I've find got it? shopping off. It's the first slot in customize, mate. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take in ah. Victor, mate. Yeah, I'm splitting that. That's a new <laughs> thing, right? Uh hang on a minute. These are the ones I own, yeah? Yeah, these are the ones I own. Okay, so what colour should we make it? Pink. Ha 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 ha. Wait, you must Literally. buy this? I've, I already... Oh, no. I Wait, but where's the ones that I have that apply to all ships in the game? Huh? They don't apply to all ships in the game anymore, mate. Screw you. Like, I've got a couple of packs that apply to all ships. I've got at least one called the Black Friday skin, which applied to every ship in the game. And guess what? This ship wasn't out then, so it doesn't apply. Eh... Now I can have the victor. So yeah. Uh, I would have to buy them. Uh, I need to come up with a name. Um. Um. Oh, I'm gonna keep the red. You uh, need a name? I'm just gonna call it cheese. Wait, what the hell? It just opened the steam overlay. Cheese what? grater. I'm gonna call it cheese. Cheese. Cheese whip. My ID is MF uh, one two three four f uh, one two three. Then yeah, lol. A nameplate. Yeah, baby, got a nameplate. Yeah. And my ship ID. Put it ev Put that everywhere. What the? Put it everywhere. Ring lights. What? Front decals. Why would I put Christmas lights across my canopy? Seriously. Am I a ranger? I'm a ranger. I'm a I'm a broker. I'm uh, a broke. I'm, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a. a, 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 a uh oh, there's dogs in the space bay. <laughs> Dogs. Oh, them dogs, space mate. dogs! I gotta go and sort out the space dogs in a minute. Oh my god, there's <laughs> custom parts for this thing? No way! Take the engine. Oh wow! The custom parts for this thing look badass, dude. Does it? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the options are awesome. My option two looks amazing. That makes it look uh, like a kind of looks like a terrapin from Star Citizen. That's funny, isn't it? Uh, heresy! <laughs> How dare what, you what, say what, that? What? Why did one? you say that name? I'm just looking at the custom parts on the uh, chieftain. Oh. The wingy bits are a bit. Those two wingy bits are a bit lame. Yeah. The, yeah. The wingy bit options are a bit lame on it. Uh, It's like a little canard, a little fin. Uh, that one I'd probably go with, but it it kind of covers up the vent, but it would go with the other one that I was looking at. That one looks a bit weird at this angle. I bet it looks better at a different angle. I can't really tell what it's doing. I think it's connecting to the back, and if it does, then that's awesome, but otherwise I'd probably go with that. And then there's one more, the bumper. Another canard fins along the top. Pretty fresh. Ooh, like little radar bits that stick out the front. And what else, though? A 
apparently there's some wings somewhere, but I can't... Oh, no, that's it. So you get, like, little antennas coming off the front. That's pretty sweet. It's better than the rest of the options. So set three, probably, for that one. But, yeah, it's all to taste, isn't it? So let's see, we'll go with the purple weapons and the purple engines, as is tradition here on twitch.tv or youtube.com slash mushroom fleet. Just go to a site and go type slash mushroom fleet. And if we're not there, well, that's my bad. What's this? String lights. Dude, you could get lights that go around the cockpit. <laughs> what the hell? No way, I never even heard of that. They're like little, I don't know, Christmas lights or something. Yeah. You go around your front windscreen. I mean, hey, I mean, it probably looks really <laughs> It probably looks cool, man. I don't know. I mean, I've, I'd hate to know what they cost. Why would my FSD have experimental effects? I don't know. Charge mass managers. Drip down, double brake. Yeah, I think we're going to have to sell the Python in the uh, interests of uh, testing. So, yeah, shipyard. I do enjoy my Python, I really do, but I need money and I can get my Python back, so. Do, do, do. Uh, just so you can see the fitting there. It's a very fun fitting, okay? Three beam, uh, three gimbal class, three beams, uh, two imperial rails, two heat sinks, because yeah, it's going to overheat every time you shoot. Shield booster chaff. And a Spartan sort of. I want to drive. I wanted to drive around on planets, guys. Oh, it's not pure, pure PvP or anything. It. It's just fuck, fly around cheesing the little aliens and not aliens, pirates. Oh yeah, and I engineered the power plant, the thrusters, and the frame drive. That's it. So there's my setup. This is just I as see. much for me, so I can re re remake. Yeah, it. I increased my jump range four light years. All right, let's sell it up. So. My Python is 200 million! What, mate? Damn! That was an expensive ship. A lot of fun, too. Okay, so now we can go back into outfitting and we can buy some guns! And not have to worry about the expense. Because the expense was starting to become a little worry and you don't fly... A ship with what's four million rebuy on ten million in the bank. That's just you know. Once I bought the guns for it, yeah, mate. No, that's a good way to game over. So let's just Wait, sell this guy. This was interesting. Let's what I'll probably do that. is to split the stream uh, highlights up. I'll probably stop the stream briefly before we go to the engineers. And then I'll start it back up again to fly there in this thing and do all of that stuff. Because I'm just trying to decide which weapons to put on. That'll be the last thing I do. So, oh god, do they even have weapons here? Yeah, they do. Mate, this is like where I should live, man. What experimental weapons? Don't even, don't even start me on that. What is all of this? Oh, right. Is it just for aliens, yeah? No. No? It's extra modifiers for your modifications for cost of micromats. Like, I can have 5% more ma capacity. Mate, mate, now. listen. I think you're talking about something else. Listen. I'm talking about experimental weapons right now, bro. Yeah. What's all that? You have to buy them. Yeah, you have to buy them, just like other weapons. But are they effective on anything in the game, or is it just for d damaging thar thargoids? Oh, yeah, though, those are most effective against thargoids. So most effective against, or they're not really for shooting at normal ships ever? I don't know. Anybody who I see use it was against thargoids. What? So you've never seen anyone use them against Thargoids? No, I've never seen anyone use them against ships. So they're for damaging aliens and not really damaging players at all, yeah? Probably. Probably. I'm going to have to find out because you don't know, do you? No, I don't. It's okay to not know. That's fine. I don't know, you know? 
Um, right, so... Alright, I'll just stick to normal weapons for now, because I don't know what the hell all this is, but... What the hell? <laughs> New stuff! I don't think I've ever used the plasma accelerator. I don't think I've ever used one of these. What's a plasma accelerator? Is that a thing? It's a thing that goes and it's a really right slow thing. shot. Yes. Yeah, I have used that then. I prefer cannons and rail guns. Even my shield boosters can have experimental effects. Why? Uh, so the railgun only goes up to class 2, and this is a class 3 hard point. So what I'll do is I'll take two class 3 gimbal beams. Uh, there they are. So tempting to just put turrets on it. Shall I put turrets on it? Uh, let's put turrets on it, and then we can do multi-cruise. Yes. Sure. Yes. Twenty-three million each for the lasers. Wow! I have a lightweight. Trusters. And then boom, I'll get boom, one. Boom, boom. I'll get one rail gun for the sh for the gun I shoot. <laughs> one fixed rail gun. I need to get an imperial hammer for that thing. It's a shame I didn't sell. <laughs> the python in parts because you know I've lost them mm -hmm. where do I get them back can I not buy them anymore do I have to do the rank again uh, the prismatics well you know if you sell them on a ship remotely does that mean the parts are gone forever and you have to do the faction rank again to get them or are they still unlocked if for me if you haven't stored them yes ah shit oh well that's a shame those imperial railguns were amazing oh well never mind they did overheat a lot though right <laughs> You know, uh, and then we'll just get a bunch of the what class one beam lasers, all turrets. So I'm going 259. Whoops, top that's speed, not what I wanted. 338 oh wait, actually no, wait. We don't want beams, do we? We want um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, the class one pulse, pulse lasers, because then it's nice and energy efficient. Yeah, because it is starting to get up there. And beams are like super... They just drain the power, man. I'll get rid of that and have a... 1G pulse. And then we'll get another 1G pulse. Yeah. And then another 1G pulse. I mean, hey, I might be able to do better than that. I don't know. That seems pretty reasonable. So we got two large beams and three small pulses, all on turrets, so whoever comes in the ship with me can fire them. And then I'll just fly about and try to shoot with this. Hmm. That should be that should be quite fun actually. Um So overall I increased my ship's capabilities. About twenty percent in all ranges. Looks like. So what have we got here? We want to sell all this stuff. Uh, military grade composite. Wow, I didn't actually sell it. <laughs> I still had the... Th I just put it in storage absent-mindedly. No. Yeah. I have 525 shields and 655 hull. <laughs> oh, I was hoping I'd have an Imperial day. Hammer. Ooh! There's something I forgot about. What? Fighter hangers. Can, oh, can yeah. this ship do a fighter hanger? Can this ship do a fighter hanger? Uh, it would probably go in there if you did do one. Oh, and I have. I don't. I don't think it can. You know, I think. Yeah, it can do a vehicle hanger, but unless this place doesn't sell them, I don't think this can do fighters. Probably worth getting a vehicle hanger, though, to be honest. I mean, I want to drive about on planets. That's something fun, right. that is. Yeah. So it's we'll breast light red, right? Say what? I'm just looking up where you are. Uh, Brestler, but I'm going to be jumping back to 
Uh, I'm going to go back. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to Palin uh, next. Uh, which station, Rowan? What? No, I'm which on a station? planet. I'm on a planet. Remember? Which planet? Um, um, uh, her, uh, the name of the planet is I Solar Prospect. No, that's the name of the... <laughs> yeah, that's the name of. Well, it's not a planet, is it? If you look in the map, you'll see ISO. City, mate. Press yeah, one, yeah. One Press is. one, it's listed. Right. I said I saw it and I. Well, no. Let's see, i got to figure this out. I suppose I could go with more HP. Or more I'm module reinforcement, talk about maybe? That. What, what what kind of modules are we talking about here? Is it anything fitted to the ship? I don't know. Uh, what? Module reinforcement? Yeah. Well, everything that's a module, meaning engines, shields, boosters, fuel scoop, anything. Instead of damaging them, 60% of the damage will go to the module reinforcement. Right. Because my jump range has suffered now. I've only got 17 light years or 18 light years, but that's okay. I mean, the ship's, a the ship's tough, I think. Wrestler, I think it's tough. I'm not going anywhere yet. I know, but it's so fun that I'm so close because I increased my light year range. Oh, right, nice. 25-7. Just taking a look here to see what else could I have. I think that the railgun is probably the best thing to have. Oh. Railguns so are fun. Love it. Uh, and they usually carry a decent amount of ammo. See, I, I used to go with cannons. You know, like a fixed cannon. They're pretty good, but I find that the railguns work just about as well when the shields are down. Um, it's a personal choice. Yeah, I mean, I think it's because they've got a bit of thermal and a bit of kinetic. Whereas sometimes yeah. people get loads of kinetic armor, and so the cannons don't work very well. You know. Well, not NPCs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because that's who I'm. Don't I don't I don't do like I say. I'm not into PvP. So my mass is now 703. So my shields should still work. We're not into okay. pussy versus pussy. We don't do cat fights. No. <laughs> do enjoy this game right so I think sometimes yeah I think I think I'm good you've made changes right let's just sort them out shall we so modules right that should be there because that's low priority as as off, as fluff. Uh, we can turn that off. Why are you fluffing on stream? Oh, I don't which know, mate. Nobody I'm watches. I'm just fluffing, mate. Put that in class. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're just streaming a little bit. It's a, we're about to go on break. In fact, I'm going to finish up doing this part, and we're going to come back when we're heading to the engineers. So give it a five-minute break while we go grab a drink and whatnot. A little bio break, and we'll be right back. Thanks again for watching and buy our free game, demo on Steam, name is Angles, see you soon.